Welcome back to my channel, where we discuss the latest and greatest in the world of entertainment. Today, I'm excited to bring you my review of Netflix's live-action adaptation of One Piece. As a massive fan of the anime, I was so eager to see how this iconic series would translate to a live-action format. So, I sat down to watch all eight episodes, and here are my thoughts. Shot 1, Aesthetically Confusing, But Compelling Characters At first glance, One Piece's live-action series can be a bit jarring. The vibrant colors and over-the-top characters can make it hard to take the show seriously. But, once you get past the initial shock, it becomes clear that the series is carried by its dynamic and well-crafted characters. The main protagonists are given a tight and efficient introduction, which helps the audience understand their backgrounds and motives. The series also features a shonen villain of the week format that keeps the pace moving quickly. Shot 2, jarring contrasts in tone, but still entertaining. One Piece's live-action adaptation has an absurd comedic tone that can be hard to reconcile with its dark and serious moments. The series uses glitter, cannon bursts, and other visual effects, which can feel childish and distracting. However, once you get accustomed to the style, the series becomes entertaining in its own unique way. Shot 3, Compelling Fight Scenes and Slick Action Sequences One of the best parts of this live-action adaptation is the fight scenes. They are thrilling, dynamic, and always leave you wanting more. The showrunners have done an excellent job of bringing One Piece's iconic action sequences to life. The martial arts and sword fighting are smoothly choreographed and never disappoint. Shot 4, Monkey D, Luffy, The Good, The Bad, and The Annoying. Finally, let's talk about the series' main protagonist, Monkey D, Luffy. While his dedication to his friends is admirable, his loud and excitable nature can be grating after a while. Luffy's focus on becoming the king of the pirates feels like an arbitrary motivation, and it's unclear what the title even means within the context of the show. Despite this, Luffy's emotional involvement in his friend's issues helped to make him a relatable and sympathetic character. 